Uh, first off, um, welcome and congratulations. Congratulations, you know. Uh, second of all, thank you guys all, uh, whoever listened to uh, Mi Arte, <laughs> who uh, purchased some of my art, who has a, a part of my art, whoever talked about it, uh, whoever thinks about it, whoever owns it, whoever has a piece of it, like I mentioned. Uh, whoever laid eye, eye, eyes on that fucking skull, thank you. And if you have a piece, thanks. You know, I know it's in good hands. I know it's in a good, responsible person, you know. Um, this is, I guess, finding a way of saying how to be thankful for the friends and artists out there for the fam the cousins friends the new friends uh the new artworks the new things that are coming up um i won't be posting anything on instagram to say thank you so this is like the way of saying thank you right gracias I do have um, some music in the background, some ambient music with some space images with this projector type of lights type of shit. So we're kind of like vibing. We're trying to be as uh, most the most relaxed we can be. You know, there's so much emotion right now, all kinds, you know, sadness loneliness uh happiness excitement uh joy there's so many things you know like coraje you know there's like anger you know but the most realistic me is going to be look at looking at looking at things at the most wonderful way you no know, we're not trying to like always feed negative words right and I'm positive about this, sort of, you know. I do feel positive, so it's like, um, I'm just trying to th think clear, you know. I'm giving myself an hour of just being on the microphone and letting know what I, letting know what I got, you know. So far, sometimes I don't have nothing to say. Some sometimes. Things might be happening outside this room, the studio, and um, it's like sort of resisting, right, of um, getting distracted, right? But like again, again, you know, thank you for all of you guys, all your your gifts, your your hugs, your 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 hand slaps, as in you know, hand in hand high fives, <laughs> um. Gracias for, again, purchasing my art, supporting it. Um, you know, that income is in good hands, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and this is another mi arte. You know, I'm not sure what number this is, but I think it's like number 36, I think. And what's the best way to start the new year fresh, you know? Um, before I go into like my Instagram, just to tell you guys what's up. Um, I'm being good. I'm being all right. Um, so far so well. Relaxed. I'm not trying to be so sentimental. I'm not trying to be weird. You know, I'm just trying to be myself as comfortable as I can. Um, and just looking for myself, sort of, right? From time to time, it might not be the right place, the right thing to do, but oh, I'm trying my best, you know, it's not easy. Um, I am having a cup of coffee, so I'm not letting it, trying to alter my nerves. Um, started this around like 8.30, try to practice something, <clears throat> 
because if I'm late, like around 11, 12 recording, uh, it is going to be a little bit more colder. So decided to start it a little bit more earlier this time. And so I could grab, like, grab some sleep after all. After a long while of like just talking to a mic. But um, overall, you know, uh, happy new year. Happy holidays. Um, we're happy on this side overall. You know, we're nice. We're great. You know, what else can I say? Um, so I ended up erasing all the 2020 20 Instagram posts. And 2018 post from my Instagram page on Arte Locura. Wanting to start out fresh. Straight up. Right? Don't want to look back and say, oh shit. I feel like I'm dragging a couple of years onto this new year, right? Starting out fresh. So, some of you have this idea of what we're about already. You know, what I am about if I want to be narrow and seeing it that way uh if you're new to this uh, recording a brief a brief like the summary would be well we post art we try to live every day and be joyful about it we're trying to work uh a job and still trying to be happy about it and just trying to be myself while doing it right Trying to find ways to uh, help people out there to change or not change, but give them some good advice, perhaps, you know. And maybe just like talk about pure positive things from time to time. Uh, pronouncing some good words, right? Not every day you hear like, like awesome, spontaneously, right? Out of nowhere, you're going to hear, like, happy, right? And your brain's going to refresh itself and, and you know, we're, we're trying to hit, like, a restart button, right? We're trying to trigger that thing from the mind where, where, where when you're having, like, a good time, you want someone else to have it too, right? With a clearer mindset, obviously, right? With water or coffee for right now, so... Um, I don't have anything to do for like the next hour, next two hours. So this is what I do. It's uh, not easy to just jump into this uh, microphone. It has to be sort of toned down. Um, somewhat ener- feeling energetic. Different ways. Mm. Sort of have to have everything almost organized. Like clean room, clean whatever, you know, a clear mindset, depending on what is it that I'm wanting to bring up. And, um, like I uh, was saying, you know, um, Instagram erased all my photos. I'm leaving two in there for right now. I'm leave- leaving the one where it's the Pantitlan, the street where my mom grew up in. And the street where she brought us up in, you know. So looking at them back to back, it's kind of, um, it's amazing how it looks so similar based on how I took the photo, right? And I wanted, I wanted those to be like the memories of, the memories to bring on for the next year. You know, we're not trying to like, lie our way through posting pictures right we're not trying to uh scare people away you know we're not trying to hide no no nothing right um if you're thinking like oh am i still gonna do art um yes we are gonna still do art we are gonna still do um flags uh, we are going to still do drawings, digital drawings, give them some meaning, um, recordings, perhaps might be something new for the new year for 2021, um, just depending on how 
how much I want to be recognized, not recognized, but heard or um, simply how many people do I want to reach? You know, how many people, how much people are out there asleep sort of and want to uh, get themselves into something new where they could be motivated um, well, perhaps they find this a little bit motivational and say, I want to do that for myself before I get so sucked into it, sort of, right? And this will be so perfect for them because, um, you know, we have all this technology and we could be using it for something dope, something nice, something where someone could walk in and say, oh, shit, this is what you do with the technology that you're given, that you bought, that you earned, and all this stuff. And if I give you a visual idea of what this room looks like right now, I'm pretty sure it's going to be making people spark up an idea of saying, oh, shit, I want my room to be like that, you know. And that's pretty dope, you know, where you're, you're comfortable. You're not thinking about nothing. You're just being basically an omer. You know, you're like zoned out. You know, you're timing yourself being zoned out for like an hour, right? And then snapping onto reality where it's like, all right, what am I doing with my life afterwards? You're done, right? So we're not completely zoned out and like stupid, right? <laughs> not stupid. Stupid is a harsh word. We're not, um, we're not 100% awake, I could say. What's another good word to say that? I think there's some people who are very smart and find a perfect word for that. Um, I want, I don't want to say woke, you know, we all know we're all awake as in spiritual well, in a spiritual way, but that just does not reach out for me. You know, it does not make me feel like, like I'm woke, right? Um... That is a term that gets so constantly used, and I understand that if um, I feel that way, you know, and and why I'm saying that, right? Se convierte, se convierte en una costumbre saying that, and it feels like everybody could just say it, you know. And um, you're just trying to do our best to find comfort in a small space you know it's not easy you know there is a lot of uh things out there that could comfort us you know like like um hearts from instagram like buttons um five second videos 10 second videos viral vi videos all types of videos you know um drugs visual drugs um, drugs themselves, books, if you're a book, book nerd, um, poets, if there's like good poets out there who are learning to become a good poet, you know, poets who are trying to do something else besides writing poems, dancers who are also trying to do something else besides dancing, you know, um, artists who are also trying to do other types of things, right? Or simply someone who's just trying to figure out what they're here for, you know? Just like I feel like I'm here to help that artist to keep being themselves, you know. Help them sort of give them a, a mental voice, right? Where they're going to be sort of um, hesitating if either they should paint something that's different. That might, dis that might disturb their parents or their people around them. Not necessarily particularly racist shit, you know, but just things that you like and, oh, obviously, you're not doing it for reaction, you know, be because you're already comfortable in that comfort zone where you're just wanting to sort of take a little bit of that extreme type of artwork where it, it means that you're somewhat prideful of certain shit. I don't know. You know, it just depends what you like, right? What do you enjoy? What helps you also helps you become different, right? Than just the way they treat you, the way they talk to you, the way they see you, you know? Memes are funny, but memes are not for me, you know? 
I don't find myself sending a lot of memes to people, right? I don't find myself following meme pages. You know, this is like, yes, there is some memes out there that are like hilarious. And they're always going to be there, you know, on Instagram and, and all these other social media things. Um, just depends what you're, you like, you know, it's like if, if you're into mem making, it's like you could probably make some dope ass mems. You know, it, it, it's like if you're having like a page of pure followers because your mem pages and shit like that, go do your thing, you know, <laughs> call yourself like the mem master or something. <laughs> You know, make make it like, like exaggerated. You know, it's like, no, no, you're exagger, your exaggeration. You know, you're not gonna know for what you're doing it for, right? Like, have a a mini goal to to be saying, no, oh, I'm just gonna over exaggerate and see where it gets me. But you're gonna have fun as long as you're having fun with that exaggeration. You'll know a little bit more about yourself, the human being about yourself. And how humans would um, eventually react to it or whatever. It's an experimentation, sort of. But, um, you know, I'm just here um, talking into a mic. Like I said, with some visuals, with the book in front of me. Makes me feel like I'm smart. (laughs) Um, Books make everybody feel naturally smart, right? Um... Hand sanitizer on the side. You always have to sanitize your side. I mean your hands, right? Um, get that bubble gum hand sanitizer if you're just hesitating. Some people might not be like like me, but you know you can always get a a weird type of hand sanitizer aroma type of antibacterial cleaner for your hands and smell it and get a or inhale or sniff or or just like rock give your senses some, not rock but give your nose some senses to um a purpose to smell right i do have um a, a notepad or a notebook that i bought over at my local cvs store last time I might have talked about this, but who knows? I told myself it's boring. I got locked out of my restaurant place where I work at. I had nothing to do. Forgot my book, so I want to go ahead and buy myself a notebook. And the cool thing is that when you're an artist, when you're someone who like modifies things, someone who edits uh, things, someone who sees notebooks differently you'll see something way different in a notebook. When you add a sticker to a notebook, you add some visual liking that you like to see, sort of, right? You add this idea to the notebook. You know, like, if you add a sticker of a dog to a notebook and cover the logo of the notebook, you're going to have different eyes to it, you know? It gives the whole surrounding of your area a different perspective, a different uh, visual. It gives you a big, uh, I'm going to say like a character bonus point, you know. It's like having this book in front of me, I, I might not be reading it. But it feels like I'm sort of reading something. I, I'm trying to read out my soul i'm trying to read out my my feelings my thoughts um i'm just trying to like see what's better for me to do or say or talk about but um no buts anything else around here feels kind of dope kind of cool so like I mentioned, I bought myself some pens and that notebook, added a sticker to it, and it feels like I was in a good position where you're so focused in your class and you're drawing stuff, you know, because you're able to feel like you're blocking everything out and be more artistically in 
and sketching something, you know. I bought I bought a notebook and that was the same feeling that I got. I was just drawing, doodling stuff, you know. Doesn't have to be perfect. You know, there's ways of getting things to look like you're a professional artist, right? And through practice, of course. But time changes so quickly, you know, time changes so dr drastically fast, you know. You can make it seem like you're a professional really quickly without having no experience of drawing or picking up a pencil. You know, yeah, some artists feel like they're being cheated, you know. I do get that feeling, but I never really felt 100% towards that way, you know. I know drawing a realistic human figure face, uh, a portrait, is difficult, it's hard from scratch like that. But there's techniques, you know. The whole goal for... It might be a goal for some people out there. And they're asking themselves, Man, I want to be able to draw. You know, I want to be able to draw some dope shit. You know, I want to be able to flip through my notebook pages. And every notebook page looks like I'm pro it's professionally done, right? Makes you look like more you're more organized, right? It feels like if you show someone your notebook, um, it tells you more about your life. It's like, oh shit, you might be organized. Oh shit, you might look smart, right? But deep down, it's like all you want to do is draw. And, and you want to learn how to go back into drawing. What do you need to go back to drawing? You know, what is it that you need? You know, what's, what is it that's keeping you from drawing? You know, what is it about you and the things that, you, that make you or keep you from drawing, right? Or the things that keep you drawing? What do you need? You know, I don't know what I need sometimes, you know. Obviously, I do need some snacks, but not really, you know. It's like, it's so easy to find an excuse why not to do art. But I'm not going to go over that. You know, there's so many videos out there that are going to help you. And they're going to visually tell you. Cut the shit, you know, just go into drawing, you know. Just being straightforward, they're going to just say. They're going to put their points of view. And, you know, go click on those YouTube videos and you'll see why right you'll see why because this is not a visual video if you're a listener like if you shut the fuck up and listen <laughs> just like i sometimes just like listen you're in a, you um you know you know you'll you see and you observe things throughout the day you don't say much um you don't talk much you perhaps you're like antisocial. perhaps you're like always in your mind you know, you're always in your feelings, sort of. You're always in your mind again, you know. Uh, realize how you are. You know. And it might be silly to ju just try to come up with like a sketch of that. Of um, maybe what you know of drawing. Maybe a stick figure with the f with like a, a stick figure in a position where it's thinking, right? Like a thinker. It's not bad being a thinker. There is a problem of overthinking. You know, you're overthinking too much now, right? It's easy to just pick up a pen and and it's it's easy it's easy to pick it up, right? It's harder to try it, right? But what I do sometimes where it's like I don't have nothing to do, right? I have nothing to do. You know, I don't know what to draw. Some practices that I do when I know I don't know what to draw, I do hearts, small hearts, you know, small hearts, like small doodles, I fill up a page of pure hearts, you know, or just write the words love you, or I love you, or te amo, or te amo, right? You can always practice your momentum, right? You have to learn again, if you're like me, I have to teach myself again what is momentum. What is that? Guess, man. I don't know how to pronounce it in Spanish. 
you know, and that's all right. But what is momentum, you know? I don't know the, the real definition to it. There's always a definition on the encyclopedia. If you have a dictionary, you'll know exactly what it means, right? We have phones. You can always ask Alexa, Alexa, what is momentum? But yet, that does, does, does not feel like hearing sometimes does not really give out the full explanation of what it is, you know? You have to sort of know and, and feel. And that's sometimes hard for people to, um, to, uh, it's different, right? It's like a different understanding of the word momentum. You know, sometimes visual does like help understand a little bit more, a little bit more. Um, but knowing what momentum is, it's, It's more clear. It makes it more clear of what um, the definition from Alexa and the knowing from it, right? Um, knowing what it is is like, for example, if you're cursively writing "I love you," if you if you if you like, if someone taught you how to write in cursive, why not use it? You know. Yeah, uh, cursive is really important, you know, that adds a lot of character to who you are, uh, that adds a lot of personality to it. It's really important, you know, it's really, it's really fluid, it's really smooth, you know, it's, it's a good way to start writing, I love you, in cursive, it's different, right, it's different from breaking the letters together, you know, not adding too much personal uh, memories or attachment to it. But um, the le the letters I love you separately, it feels a little bit weird, you know. Now, when you, let's say, for example, you have a, a piece of paper in front of you or you're, you're, bound, you're bound to get one in, in a couple of minutes. And you go ahead and write I love you in regular um, lettering. It's different from learning uh, lear relearning again how to write in handwriting and one challenge that i do i challenge myself to use just one stroke of um pen um one stroke of the pen to write i love you that's all you need right you're creating this like motion in your hand where you're not pressing too much on the letter you know you're recognizing how much um you're recognizing how much um stressed you got on your on your lettering you know you could be like super super detailed about your the way you write you know you can write in so many ways of expressing yourself you know you have it might be one thing from writing a poem you know you might be the dopest poem writer ever you know now, when you see like five pages of how you write and you say, oh, that shit looks dope. You know, it looks dope having side by side by side. Now, it's hard to find that moment in your time where it's like, I want to be more original. I want to be more stylish. I want to be more unique. I want to be like sort of un unreachable. You know, you want to be sort of unstoppable. What are you going to do? You know, knowing um, poetry, you know, what are you going to do to make those poems look better? You know, it's like you could put like all those poems to the side, write, rewrite them and try that, try them out in handwriting. Um, adding more detail to the poems that you priorly did or you have a drawing of a circle that you did earlier. You know, adding more detail as in adding like a heart border around your poem, uh, burning up the edges of paper or handwriting it and pressing really hard on a certain word or uh, breaking up the cursive or um, writing it in different languages or 
for other people to understand what you're saying. Some, some, sometimes people don't understand English. Writing one in English, one in Spanish, uh, one in English, one in Spanish, one in Chinese, one in Japanese. You know, you're just creating this. You're trying to communicate with as much people as possible. Now, which now not just with your inner circle. You know, you don't want just your inner circle to be knowing everything about you. You know, you want to expand. You want it to be. You want to be known, man. You want to be. Um. You you want to stand out, sort of, uniquely, originally. Um, or just go viral, you know, just go viral. The The cool thing is that um, the more you practice uh, cursive writing and your, I forgot, I forgot what's the name, you know, when you, the thing where, I think there's standards, I think when you're repeating the same sentence over and over and over, you'll build, you'll build up that practice in your muscles of your hands you'll uh, you'll find ways to help uh what's the most better way of, of uh, you'll start paying attention to the way you you put pressure onto the pen because you're, you're gonna get frustrated you know you could tell how much pressure someone puts in the pen you know the boldness of the of the ink of the of a standard 2b pencil you know when they're light lightly not you know when you write lightly you all, you you know for a fact it's not like putting pressure onto a pencil. There, it's like becoming a sort of a self detective. You know, you're knowing how much pressure you put onto your words. When you mean something, you sort of it kind of gives it that reason or that feeling or that visual evidence that you're like when you write I, you write it in a bold as with a lot of pressure. You know, it's like take it easy on yourself, man. It's like you know. So it's like there's so many ways of um, trying to come up with like a style if you're making like five different poems of the same one or different ones, right? And that's the whole point. You know, you want to get yourself to uh, practice a long sentence and rewrite it. You know, you rewrite it, you know, rewrite it, just rewrite it and keep going and keep going. You know, for me, I do hearts. I fill up a whole page with uh, a whole collage of hearts here and there, here and there, here and there, you know. And you'll see where you fuck up, you know. It gives out that weird vibe where it's like, oh, you're catching your, you're you're catching on to that rhythm of like being organized, right? You could just like basically start off from the center of the paper, and sometimes just putting hearts around it. If you're organized to uh, to the point you're already visualizing the the outcome of the circle and how it's gonna look, you're practically organizing in in that way you know you're already focused um in a way where you know because if you just like start doing hearts like side by side side by side for fun you're just doing it to practice your your muscle from your hands you're gonna create an abstract of a pattern you know you're gonna be sort of unpredictable right but once you get bored and you, and you're like, oh shit, you know, let me do it. Let me start again, right? You give yourself a break, and you're finishing the paper like, again halfway through. You'll you'll start to see a, a weird ass pattern, you know. Like, oh shit, this section of the heart pattern made a little bit more different because you start catching this like visual pattern. Unless I'm the only one that gets it, <laughs> or sort of. Um, it's just they look different and you start to no- notice that how starting from from somewhere it's like you're getting uh practice and you're not stopping you're allowing your brain to know the motion your fingertips to know the motion you're uh, recognizing the pressure you're recognizing how lightly you're holding a pencil right you're putting all these like um you're putting all these like uh you're noticing all these changes, right? You're noticing all this, um, all, all these things that help you build that momentum. Like I said, you know, when momentum is like almost being consistently without even trying, right? 
I'm not even sure. I just made that up. <laughs> but it's like momentum sort of like moving with like a certain movement that I already started. Kind of. Right. Momentum could be like breaking up, broken up in sections, I guess. In, in my way of thinking, let's say yesterday you made a full page of hearts, you know. And then the next day you do the same thing. That's momentum you know that's like you're giving yourself yesterday the time to practice uh drawing hearts or dribbling a ball or doing around the world with the soccer ball and tomorrow it might be coming to a point where it's like oh shit, i don't have shit to do but you don't want to go in the in the bad direction by spending so many times on other things that are really building up that focus of momentum right of knowing of just being so more a bit smart right and you find out you end up finding out that you're practicing it sort of you want to practice you know and, and you start realizing this difference of like oh shit yesterday i did it and then I, i'm doing it again today and it feels a bit more simple and more easier to get into it it wasn't so hard to do it at all right it's not easy it's not difficult it just takes someone to um, tell someone, sort of, you know, get that push again. Um, it ain't easy to start drawing, right? So where were we? <laughs> it wasn't so easy. It wasn't so difficult neither, right? Uh, timing, man. You got to time yourself, I think, sometimes. You know, I think it's important to discipline yourself saying, oh, that's enough. You know, that's enough of this talent. You know, that's enough of this hobby that I'm enjoying. What's the next thing that I want to do? Now, there's hobbies that kill the, the recent hobby. You know, there's hobbies where it's like, all right, man, today I'm going to draw. But you know you're going to be sitting your ass down, you know. Or I want to write something down. I want to make a poem, right. Or you're basically drawing out what you want to do. You're writing down the things you're going to do in a day. It's hard to be like, oh shit, keeping track of time and saying, I'm going to do like half an hour jogs, half an hour of cardio. And then you say, oh shit, with this shit, I want to play video games for half an hour. It ain't easy to just play for half an hour. I got to let you know. Um, It's hard to be like, you know, um, it's, if you're finding another way of expressing yourself, you know, of um, make, perhaps you're dribbling a ball for half an hour and you're like, damn, man, I want to write about it now. You know, everybody has this, you know, if you could see yourself through someone else's eyes one time, you know, if you could see yourself through a camera, you're most likely to be focused. You know, you're most likely to be like, oh, shit, okay. You know, you you just saw yourself through the mirror and you're like, all right, fuck it. That's what I'm doing. And that's how every time I want to go into a mirror and see yourself, right? Not because you got the, uh, a reason to not do it. Oh, I don't know. Some bullshit reason, right? Um, everybody could be an icon in this world, sort of, you know, it takes a lot of practice to do it. You know, it takes a lot of, um, uh, uh, courage it takes a lot of braveness to be like um fuck it i want to stand out right um find people who um who you look up to man who you you sort of co connect and yet are are people who are not gonna get their um i don't even i don't even fucking know man it's like find people who are or um celebrities or icons that you look up to right and be like, shit, I want to be like that person, you know? Um, for example, like, I, I, I see Jim Carrey and it's like, fuck, this guy's fucking funny, you know? This guy's hilarious. You know, it, it is kind of weird where he, like, he's, he's being toned down from his funniness. Or Bruce Lee, like, fuck, man. It's like, this dude has the... All the videos that I see are well edited, sort of, right? But I know for a fact, it's like, this guy was well built. He's in, he, he got some good um, reflexes and stuff like that, right? He's like the good master of his fucking art and shit. 
um and and that's where i'm like i want to be the same way you know i want to be the same way maybe i'm not gonna it is difficult to always be it is difficult to get to that point when you're drawing or painting or being creative you know so um you want to also want to do some other shit that's gonna help you feel comfortable to talk about or to um you want to talk about what you love man it's like you want to talk about what you want to do you know maybe you don't have someone to listen to you maybe you have someone who's like oh i want to make a podcast i want to make a recording how do i do it you know i want to be able to be selfish like you sort of right uh, or not selfish but it's like yo make me want to talk right or make me not be awkward and, and just say bro um um make me want to do so many things too you know it's like what can you do it's like this is how i'm doing it i'm not i'm not might be getting to where i want to be at but um the cool thing is that i'm keeping myself busy or it's like okay i got this book in front of me if talking about my life or about me is not going to be working out there's an alternative to use this whole technology and say well i could just use it to read a book maybe perhaps that's the way of uh finding out how i sound like how i look like when i read how i how i sound like when i'm pronouncing certain words um how difficult it is um is this the right thing to do you know and should i be reading like an encyclopedia a dictionary right there's so many things to to use a mic for you know i could talk about my art the world that we're in right now how it was how i remember it for for the way that i was brought up into this world on different shit right on uh, there's different categories of shit that you want to just talk about you know it, it's hard for people not to take it too personal when when you talk about your things um for a fact um you could always like you know always mention it oh it's just for me um just talking about my life like i do sometimes you know and you're gonna know man it's like people are smart enough to say you know it's like if they want to listen to what you get what you got to say it's like oh shit i didn't know you want to talk about that but it's not always going to be about you right it's like man it's like sometimes you're just better off being alone you know you're just better off I'm not saying it's it's good to be alone, right? But it's like you're just more creative when you're alone, right? Um, you're just you when you're alone, right? Um, don't get me wrong. Family is it's a beautiful gift to have, you know. It's really nice to have a family of siblings, and and you siblings are, are all this stuff, right? Um, yeah it's it's dope you know i can't say no it's dope man <clears throat> it's cool it's nice wonderful um it's beautiful you know when you know when they see when, when you see that they're there you know it's wonderful man you always have to talk even though there's that might be coraje it's always dope to have coraje and it's like oh shit maybe i do have coraje you know maybe i do have coraje against the closest people that i got but it's like fuck it's like not check yourself girls not check yourself guys and shit right or fucking titty twist yourself whatever man it's like but it's like man it's like it's nice to feel coraje against your family but it's not dope to express it you know it's like you know, uh, for whatever reason, man, it's like you always have to, like, find a way where it's like, damn, man, it's like, fuck. It was just coraje. You know, it was just coraje where. And the more you have coraje, um, the more time you're going to be like, oh, shit. You know, I'm, I was just, like, mad at myself. You know, I'm just like, it's always nice to talk about it, you know. Um, knowing that you just want to get rid of that feeling, right? Uh, having the purpose to say, oh shit, I, I, I'm feeling this way because, like, I have, co or just like in general, I have coraje. 
get me this feeling out of me, right? Or or sort of saying, oh, man, I feel like I'm like, I don't feel myself, you know. I feel like these things are creeping up on me and these things are keeping me from being myself with like uh, acknowledging that you just don't want to be weird in front of people, you know. Or um, you basically don't want to be like using that coraje to get some point through. You know, you're not trying to outstand shit. You know, you're not trying to um, give that reasoning a, a bad reason. Or, I, I don't know, I'm trying to picture something. You know, I'm trying to imagine how would um, someone describe that for me, you know. It, it ain't always easy to find a reason and, and trying to cool down a situation where, I, where I've never been part of, you know, uh, or haven't been in a tight situation where it's like, oh, shit. Of, um, I can't really give a, uh, an explanation of, of something I've never experienced through, you know. But um, I guess what I'm trying to, to say... I don't fucking know. You know, it's like I gotta snap out of this shit sometimes. You know, it's like when you're in too deep, it's like fuck, man. It's like what the fuck can I be doing instead? And that's the thing, man. That's that's the catch. Sometimes, you know, I might be sounding like I'm getting to a certain point, but it's like override. It's like I gotta slap myself clear. It's like oh shit, this is just like a fucking mierda podcast. Or that. This is nothing like. This is not like a fucking life giving advice shit, right? You know, and that's where I gotta snap out of it. That's where I got to be like, back to my reality, man. You know, how much longer we got. So we got like maybe like 14 minutes Um, to be precisely. We got like, we got like 13 minutes to go. You know, it's, like <laughs> it, it, it's fucking difficult to snap out of shit sometimes, man. It's like, oh shit, we're, we're too deep in that loophole. You know, man, it's like. When you're doing something, it's like, oh, man, just snap out of it and say, oh, shit, all right, cool. What am I doing, you know? (laughs) You know, I'm just drinking coffee and talking to a mic. You shouldn't, like, not pay attention to what I say. You know, I'm not no, I ain't no, like, fucking uh, genius with the Nobel Prize. If there was, like, a a Nobel Prize for trying to be as creative as you can, undergroundly, fuck it I'll, I'll win that shit it's like i'll win that shit for sure how so i got some plans not not yet being you know i got some dope ass projects ideas of um if there was like a dope novel prize of believing yourself and just doing it for how hard you're trying to like believe in yourself i'm pretty sure i'll be like on the lowest percent of that because if i was at the highest i'd probably be like at a different type of level but um, I believe too much in myself sometimes, and it's not bad to be thinking about that you can make it. You know, it's like uh, it's unbelievable how much how strong believing in yourself can lead you, right? It's amazing how you're not you're not giving up, man. It's like um, I wish I could see it in in the worst ways where I could be like fucking miserable as fuck, you know, where I could be like ah, oh, my life ain't going the way where I was. Ah, oh, this and that. Ah, oh, this and that, right? Man, I think there's a lot of people out there who need help. You know, just like I need help sometimes. You know, sometimes you just need help, you know? Sometimes you just need help. Sometimes you gotta say, fuck, man, what's up? You know? As in, how's life? You know, there, there might be... But like I said, man, if you if you wake up early, you'll have a different way of seeing things. You know, if you wake up and you cook you cook yourself something, it's gonna be way different. It's gonna be like, oh shit, this is why this is something everybody's waking up to or breakfast and shit. Some people might, you know, and um, you don't want to be waking up at two and at that of it, man. But um, man, it's like it just depends how how serious you are with what you believe in. You know, it's like. It's hard to to be like, oh, I have to stop saying that shit. It's that it's hard, you know. It's not even that difficult. We have this imagination of, you know, we have imagination, 
right? And imagination like roots out into different type of categories. You know, and you have to see it that way. You know, you have to start evolving really openly sort of that way, right? There's a good imagination, there's a bad one, and all the other categories, you know. You could be really uh uh illusional sorta in a good way from the good category or you could be surprisingly illusional in that in that same good way it's not always going to be the good and bad right it's not always going to be how they always say it oh is it good the bad and the sorta it's it's more of an open wide spectrum it's it's always going to be more wider you know, white, white, not white, but whiter, right? But um, it's always gonna be in a way where it's like, damn, man, it's like you, you have all these like possibilities of, of seeing good things from from good things, right? And you have all these like possibilities from the bad stuff, you know? It's like, yeah, for for a fact, if it, it, things could go really in the bad direction if you have so much imagination, right? And you could be like using it for the wrong reason you could you, you could be using imagination for the wrong reason man or you could be using it for the right reasons and imagine one time you're just saying maybe i just add like 15 minutes to this let me just imagine how much imagination i got if i go out go out and start imagining shit for 15 minutes knowing that it's gonna lead you somewhere right you're Kind of, it's kind of like a double positive. I don't know how to fucking explain this shit, man. It's like the, the only, the only, you know, man. The, the only person that knows that is me. You know, there might be someone who can sort of relate. You know, you're not trying to. It's like being optimistic, but you're you're like a positive, op- optimistic person. You know, you're you're trying to see the good shit and everything, right? It's hard to appreciate things. You know, so we're dealing with, like with emotion during the days and shit. And it might be like the wrong day to be thinking about good shit. <laughs> you know, but overall, man, I think this fucking universe is getting to me sometimes. You know, and I, I'm telling you that because um, I got this universe uh, YouTube video playing on the television. And I feel like I'm relaxed, sort of. But I don't want to be feel, feeling too relaxed because I don't want to be saying anything stupid, you know. Um, I'm trying to picture what things could be happening. What things could be perhaps approaching from the future. How definitely things are going to be looking at. You know, how things are just different. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's just different. You know, if you're looking up towards the sky, you'll get a different feeling from hearing all this shit. You know, it's like, well, yeah, if you want to be lost like that, I'll be like, yep. I'll hold my head up high and I'll be like, fuck yeah, man. You know, you know, I, I want to have these visual of memories of like, oh, I remember when you were talking about this shit. It's like, I was looking up at the skies, you know. If you're wanting to start like a recording or a podcast or, you know, it's like we all get into a position of, um, of like, oh shit, we're in a podcast, you know, it's like, we're, uh, we're all different, you know, it's like, but when you're older and you understand how different you become with different material stuff, it's like, dang, I don't want to be like that. I want to be as comfortable as I want to be. Uh, without the use of drugs for sure you know clean for like perhaps a month and say oh shit i I think i see the the reasonings why i do drugs or what or why drugs are being overly used and abused from you know you know it's like i drink a i drank the beer today but that does not explain everything that i was saying you know um I told myself, you know, it's like, nah, I'm, I'm just cool with one beer, you know, it's like, um, get this, like, feeling off of my chest, beer, you know, it's like, get this, like, um, get this, you know, I'm, it's like, sort of like, 
I don't want to say medicine. It ain't medicine. But it's like, quita me esta pena, man. It's like, quickly, you know. I just drank one. And I told myself, that one, that's it, you know. With, with that, just one beer, I'm cool. You know, I, I'm all right, you know. I, I'm telling that myself right now. I wish I had my mirror in front of me. But it's like, what, with that one beer, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yes, duel. You know, um, because you're you're just smart enough to say, damn, man, I could go for a water. You know, you don't want to go sort of like mental regretting it the next day where you're like, ah, oh, shit, if I was sober throughout the whole night and while I was sober, while I was sleeping, you'll be like, damn, bro, I was sober the whole night. Not to be amazed of that, but you're going to be like, Oh, I could see where that whole beer could be affecting me the next day. You know, what did I did not appreciate from last night, right? Well, what is it? You know, well, if you're a party hardy, probably like sex, good sex and shit like that. <laughs> but it's like you don't even want to have sex when you're like intoxicated, you know? Um, I guess, you know, I guess if you want it that way. Um, it is kind of weird, you know, as an adult. It is weird as a kid. You don't give a fuck. I mean, if you're like an over teen shit, you wouldn't give a fuck. You know, if it's like natural, it's exciting. It's dope, you know. Um, but I'm not here to brag about my sex life and shit like that or my sex experiences. You know, because that's pretty somewhat childish. If this, if this podcast was like about uh, stories about that, it'll be somewhat disturbing. As an adult, it will be uh, really disturbing. You know, as a child or a teenager or a, a, a youngster, it will be really um, fun and stuff, right? These things that we attach to, you know. Um, or it could just talk about like and it never mattered, you know. Like it wasn't like a big part of my life. Um, you know, and, and it just depends, man. It just depends how we want to see uh a fucking podcast man it's like not everybody's fucking smart in a podcast you know what i'm saying that's what i that's what i like when i'm searching podcasts on on fucking youtube and shit like that you know it's like anybody could just do one man it's like it's easy man it's easy and and the most interesting people are the people who have done drugs in the past and you have to look at your well it's it's fucking weird where, where you're like you're I gotta admire it though, but it's like when you're looking at someone who's like sober throughout the whole life, um, maybe when you try beer one or, or drugs or stuff like that, it just be just because you want to experiment what it was, you know. Um, I, I forgot where the fuck I was going. Oh, um, all these like icons experiment experimented with drugs, you know, and it's weird that we look up to people who are druggies, you know. Not druggies where they're like cracked out fiends and they're popular because they're crack fiends, you know. Um, there's people like, like good people that I that I hear about. There, there's good people like, like Joey Diaz. It's like I think that's one of the reasons why I keep doing these recordings, man. Uh, he mentions his his you know his addiction in life, how he was back in the day, and I'm like fuck well he does have this role model as a fucking mafia person throughout movies and shit and then i started doing like somewhat research about him and it's like he doesn't seem that way but he was that way back in the day and i don't have the physical evidence you know i don't have all this evidence but it it feels like he's being so i'm not fully wanting to believe him you know I'm not that into that um, knowing shit uh, about him, but it's really interesting. You know, it, it, that's the word. It's it's interesting. You know, he also uh, one of those things that um the reasons why he I feel like it's easy to make a podcast and the reason why I keep doing these recordings, I feel like he makes it look simple. You know, as much as I'm I'm trying to not a, not to convert people to start talking about their lives you know but i'm not 
wanting that attention neither just to be like here and to be lounging and shit you know i just want to like be here and, and talk about it and and say oh that's enough upload right but um it's as easy as they mentioned having a phone some lights uh some cool background things like in a small square space and pff, you're all set you know, you're all set do what you love to do talk about what you love to talk talk about what helps you keep moving in the direction of making another recording talk about a painting that you love the most you know talk about a, a favorite book um, for sure if you say your favorite book you're gonna find 200 people who like the same book you know maybe you're just wanting to experiment and say oh maybe some 200 people out of those 200 people you say oh shit they like the same book like i do you know and then you go down narrowing narrowing people as in well i also like shish kebab sushi and shit like that right or in california you like mcdonald's it's like oh shit we all like mcdonald's you know <laughs> but um or or man it's like you like cooking and it's like wow not many people like cooking i don't like cooking but i enjoy it i know how to enjoy it sometimes i'm not saying i'm gonna enjoy it the next time I, I end up cooking but um you know when, when you're a kid and it's like they make make you cook and stuff not but i force us but it's like you're not natural to be born to be raised to be cooking and one day they make you cook it's like you're gonna be like finding excuses ah wow 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 right but um the cool thing is that when you when you work at a restaurant it's like oh shit it's like i was complaining about this much and it's just for me you know it's like those unconsciously pushes where it's like i'm pushing myself to cook some fucking spaghetti you know it's like fuck why is it, why does this seem a lot more difficult at home you know it's just, it's only like boiling up the pasta with water wait till it's cooked drain it and then recook it again when the tomato sauce is being done it sounds simple it is simple i do it almost every day but wh why is it that the process feels like it's lasting a long ass time you know it's just natural to set up fucking excuses I make excuses myself. I'm trying to figure out what excuses I'm making up at times and shit. Bro, I feel like I'm in space right now, to be honest. Gotta let you know, I feel like I'm in space. Um, I feel like I'm untouchable in this room. But that's not always going to be like that. You know, the lights are going to be turned off. All these neon lights are going to be turned off. And it's going to be back into that normal phase of... You know, that's the thing, man. This is what this shit is creating. It's creating me a, a really a visual a visual comfortable space you know sometimes space as in like where you're at right now could be like cozy as fuck you know but there's small things where it's like this could make you feel like dang this is what helps me be myself you know it might be a small painting a small banner a small flag a flag uh a image of uh, abuelitas and saw so a painting of uh, abuelitas it might be a, a painting of, of yourself, but as naked for fun. I'm still wanting to try that for this year. Uh, photography sessions of yourself posted here and there. And say, oh, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm about, you know. But um, there could also be, like, colorful lights in your fucking room, man. That's the new generation of shit right now. Not just that. Like, if you're a gamer, you, you want to feel like you're a gamer, man. You, you want to feel like... You're gaming out in space with all these colorful lights, with images of the shit that you like. Uh, but yeah, understand how old are you, right? It's like if you're like younger, if you're like, uh, if I'm talking to my primos right now, it's like, if they're listening for at one time, yo, you're like, what, 15, boost up your gaming booth at your pad, man. It's like, I don't talk to them that way. You know, we don't really sort of connect here and there. But it's like, if I could like see this in someone else's room and say, dang, man, your room looks sick. You know, I'll be like, fuck, yeah, it is. I'm tripping out still. <laughs> you know, it's like, dang, man, it's like, I thought I'm the only one tripping. I was like, nah, fuck, no, I'm still tripping, you know. <laughs> but, um, and you're, you're going to see how, like, fuck, man, it's like, it's so easy to, to have a, a gaming room, man. It's like when someone 
when you see it and someone believes in you and not the people who raised you believed in you but yet your cousin believes in you and it's like fuck yeah man you could have the dopest gaming room ever and you know and be like you could you know you could you know Yeah, you could have the dopest gaming room ever, you know, or the movie theater at your pad and shit, right? You could be having the most creative room in the whole world, you know, and you're going to be like uh, describing that shit, man. You're going to be like, oh, I got this fucking LED lights on the side for when I'm like painting, it'll be blue or pink if you're a dude. No, nah, I'm not trying to genderify shit. If that's even a word that I'm using correctly in the sentence. But um, I'm like leaning back on my chair just to um, chill and just seeing the stars, man. It feels perfect, you know. This is what I was missing. <laughs> and I don't want to make this to be so much of a, a visual addiction where I'm like, oh, shit, I want to always be here, right? I want to train myself to like this so much to be like, oh, shit, you, you, you don't know what you're missing out on, right? And, and there's going to be people with, uh, with ideas like that, man. It starts out with like a simple poster of what you like, you know. It starts off very simple. Um, I want to make this room really fucking dope, man. I want to make it into like if it's like a fucking weird ass studio type of painting, small gallery collection type of shit. You know, where there's always something to look at. There's always something to be tripping out on. Um, You know, where it's like. It might look like a normal room, uh, like an already interesting collection shit. And still, yeah, it'd be like, oh, bro, you haven't even seen, like, the dopest neon lights ever, right? Or stuff like that. I don't have neon lights yet, but maybe sooner in the future. And, and just be like, yeah, bro, it's like, that's what um, we all are missing out on, man. It's like, you, you just have to, like, one day just make a purchase of uh, something small of a... Uh, of, uh, laser lights and say oh shit i see where you're gonna get yourself into you know uh, a whole room that looks like space lasers and shit i was trying to plan on getting like a disco ball you know i want to see some color i want to see some lights and shit you know i want to put my my eyes to that visual drug type of shit i mean i describe it as a drug because it's like really flashy right it's really eye-catching you know it's, it's like it's like art but with lights you know it's like knowing and knowing about it, it's just like, oh, you're just going too deep. But it's, it's not really too deep as in like, why is it that we, we see color red? And why is it like you're studying it now, right? You're studying it and all this crap. <laughs> all this crap that is not really important. But for you, it'll be like, tell me something new, man. <laughs> no, tell me something new, bro. Carnal, you know? Carnala, congratulations. No, tell me something that's going to make me change my life, man. If you're having a hard time, you know, life ain't that hard, man, when you're in a cozy, bass bed, you know. Life ain't that hard when you're, like, just wanting to, like, lay down and just fucking listen to someone talk, man. This is, like, therapy for me, big time. You know, I do get tired of, I'm not, I don't want to brag about working out, you know, I do it, I don't go out sometimes to uh, run, I tried, I tried once, and it's really tiring, so I somewhat have my drill, which is just standing, squatting, push-ups, and stretches, and I do that for like half an hour, and it works, the next day I'm like cramping up, you know, and it's like, I feel like my th- my heart's up in my throat, and that's what I want to feel. Where like, oh shit, okay, calm down, heart, calm down. But it's not no a- anxiety attack, you know. I'm like, it's not no panic attack neither. It's like, okay, okay, heart, you know, take it easy now, you know, take it easy, you know. It's like you're you're all good, man. Like your heart is somewhat like your baby, you know. If you don't have a baby, I don't I don't know how a baby feels like, right? Uh, or how to take care of one, but it's like, it's like you know, don't don't overextend your heart. You know, but but when you know it's for good reasons where like you're exercising, you're like, fuck it, one more push, bro. One more push, man. One more push, man. And it's like, you got it, bro. You know, what else? 
you know, your heart's all up in your, your fucking throat and you're like, not even suffocating of like over excitement or, or, or um, you're not suffocating of like, oh shit, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. You know, you're not giving it the bad, bad reasons, but you're giving it the reasons of like, the times where you're like you're running and shit, and you're like, oh, bro, it's like you just exercise a lot. What else? You know, get me some more hand sanitizer, man. So, I'm at peace right now. You know, I'm at peace. I gotta learn how to do this more often. It's not easy, you know. Um, happy New Year again. Just in case you're you're in the New Year's section. You're celebrating. Just be safe, you know. Ah oh, man, I think space smells like bubble gum because of this hand sanitizer, you know, it's like all those uh, hues of uh, blue, light pink, light baby blue and shit like that, light green, tan green. Uh, I don't know, man, it makes you feel like if it would have like a color or like a smell to it, it'll be like bubble gum. Um, maybe like blueberries if you're looking at like uh, blue types of gases up in there in the sky. I don't know, man. It's like you guys got to keep doing what you guys got to do, you know. I don't want to just be here to talk about things about my life. You know, I'm boring as fuck, you know. But um, I'm working on this new um, type of... Uh, my whole goal is trying to bore you, bore you the fuck out. You know, I'm trying to bore you out. You know, that's my goal sometimes. <laughs> that's my goal for myself. That's I feel like that's what I'm mostly do sometimes i'm trying to make situation look boring as fuck you know <laughs> you know let's let's like spice up some shit but let's um maybe to 2021 i'll be making my first video uh podcast can save maybe if it goes well maybe not who knows um baby steps you know just baby steps here and there I gotta appreciate what I'm doing right now for for an hour. Uh, the things that I got, the things that I'm gonna get myself into afterwards. I'm done. Uh, I'm happy and excited to move forward. Uh, new Instagram board. It's, all my posts are erased. If you know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm doing so far, thanks. If you're if you're like, oh uh, why? If you're putting so much thought into my post, um new po what is it my posts that are all being raised no there's no specific reasons of like personal reasons oh well maybe you know but or not i know that for myself and that's what you know it's like at the moment someone brings it up you know oh you're not gonna go in that direction I'm making a something dumb about it i guess but new year man new posts um if you have an idea of what i do already it's going to be exciting because it's like we added this recording last year and then sort of trying to add more time to it. And now that I'm focused, sort of more focused into it, it's going to be amazing how to find myself again creatively to get myself into it. You know, what is it that's going to make me more focused and hopefully can someone like do it themselves too? You know, hopefully someone. One day say, oh man, I feel like I talk a lot when you're by yourself reading. Obviously, you're talking a lot when you read a lot. Or you're like, when, you, you're, when you're so good at analyzing shit, like a movie, it's like maybe you were born to talk about movies. You know, maybe we have a, we'll have like a movie section and we'll be like, we'll analyze movies and shit. And we're like, yeah, maybe you just you're so more focused when you're distracted and, and and you're noticing that distraction of um how much you talk about it you know how much you know about it how much you're you're like into it you know maybe you're into movies that much i'm not that much into movies because i see them for visual shit you know i i look for you know when someone explains it, i'll be like okay fuck let me sit up straight you know let me let me focus on what 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 is what is it that the movie's trying to say you know but um, because I'm like very artistic about shit, you know, I'm really into my fucking arts and crafts. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I don't have time to be. 
I do have time, but I don't have the right time for it. You know, it's like, oh, crap. You know, but overall, man, old year. Say bye to the old you. You know, if you're trying to be new, the new year. Um, I'm not trying to bring up no pain from the past to the new. Nothing stupid. Um, focused, you know, try to focus again. Um, you know, excited. What else? I don't sound excited, but I am. Um, you know, new year, man. What else, man? How, 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 uh, how do you see your new years? You know, you know, if someone asked you, what are you going to do this new year? You know, what, what are your goals? You know, how, how are you going to keep focusing about your life? You know, you know, what is life for you? You know, what, what, what are you doing? That's going to like, oh shit, that's going to make you think about your life. You know, I'm not no smart person. You know, I'm not that smart but somewhat i'm creatively smart you know i'm like was that a shooting star i think so what what is that you did what is it that you do that you like to talk about you know find find yourself man you know this might be sounding like i found myself you know if i'm like super energetic i'll fall asleep i'll advertise that like i do kind of found myself you know i'm not gonna be high on shit for to be sounding a certain way man you know just knowing that i'm naturally like this and i sound like this when i don't have like the right energy is all right you know it, it's nice to notice to recognize it you know it's nice to say this is the way how i feel like i'm most naturally but you know you, when you're excited obviously you're gonna sound excited it's like oh shit though you know your tone is just different i'm not saying that's bad it's always nice to recognize it and you know what uh, you know you never know you know you never know you never know who's gonna listen to it you know it's kind of adding to that mysterious of who's listening you know if it's like maybe soon in the future they'll update you to where like you're gonna be like oh this person saw your video and that'll be way different you know if it gets to that point i'll be kind of weird weirded out because now you're gonna have to like somewhat consider that uh person and somewhat maybe in a small percentage make make that person influence you for the next time they're they're listening you know but overall all you gotta do is uh thank them oh thank you for seeing for leaving a like or whatever you know you know whatever um obviously not whatever towards them you know so don't get that bad message but don't can it, man. Maybe you want to talk about the things that you like, you know. Maybe you feel like this is a place where you want to talk about yourself, you know. Maybe that's the way this arte locura, mi arte, is supposed to be, you know. Maybe you find yourself through uh, uh, mi arte, you know. It's like <laughs> you find yourself through a interview set, you know. You find yourself in a, in a, in a podcast, man. It's like. Maybe someone who believes in believes in themselves overly believes in you, and you say, "Oh shit, was that the thing I always supposed to be doing throughout my whole life?" And uh, you know, better believe it. You know, better believe something like that about you, because what I'm doing might not fit me. You know, it might fit someone else perfectly, perfectly. You know, but um. Who knows, man? It's just, you know, now that you have an income from, like, let's say you're just like a, a finished high school graduate and they're, fo they're forcing you to work. You're like, fuck it, man. Go to work and buy some shit that it's going to help you say, oh, maybe I do want this. Like, maybe I do want like this action figure. You know, maybe I do want like the Star Trek poster. Maybe I want this like Bruce Lee poster. Maybe I want to give something to my parents for pushing me like that. And one one day you're going to be like, oh, bro, it's like you've been wasting so much time. I've been wasting so much time. But I think this creative thing's like over. It's it's way more beyond, man. It's like I feel like my creative side eliminates that regret and shit. You know, it's like, yeah, I might be spending time not doing shit sometimes. But I feel like this art is, is going to be permanently 
uh, pushing me. You know, it's gonna be like, fuck, man. It's like if I did that during like a small, like if I worked that fast, imagine how I could do almost every day with art. And that's a cool thing, man. It's like, what is it about each month that I'm gonna be end up painting now? You know, now that I got the skill to be painting on banners, I'm like, well, it was always there. You know, the tools were always there. They just landed in my hands. You know, I was just an artist with the tools. You know, it's like uh, I was painting. You know, a painter can always paint on anything. You know, but we have this idea of like painters always paint on canvases. Stick to that. You know, but it's like no fuck no. It's like when you're paint, you want to almost paint anything that you can, sort of. You know, but um, obviously you're not gonna paint on someone else's face. If it happens to be like cosmetic wise. You could practice that on someone else. You know, you could be like, maybe you'll be like painting someone's face for like this neon underground uh, dope visual type of art show, you know. Or maybe you're just practicing painting faces of like for, I don't know, man. There's there's so many like fucking shit that you could see it, you know, where um, um the cool thing is that, um. You know, it's like when you're, who, who's, who, who's, who's a person who was mentioned that when you're thinking like this? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, Saul, you know, or, no, yeah, Saul from, from Pineapple Express, you know, when, when, uh, Dale D- D- Denton or, oh, no, when, uh, when Red's in the bathroom and he's all depressed and then I think, um, Seth Rogen. He's all like, man, wait, he's like, he's all aguitado. You know, he's drinking beer because he, like, he felt like he backstabbed them throughout the movie. And he's like, you know, man, it's like, don't you want to return, like, <laughs> like an anal beat and shit like that? Or, like, and then eventually he mentions, like, you know, I, I obviously got it wrong. But he starts mentioning, well, you go be back like a dragon thinking like that. It's like, fuck, yeah, you will. you're going to be like a dragon. You're going to be like this dope ass dragon, man. You know? You know, it's hard to to find that motivation, you know, especially when someone's trying to like. Um, I'm saying it, saying it this way because um, you know, it's, you know, people are like. Oh, I don't, don't want to be ranting about people, you know, not ranting about, right? I don't want to be ranting about it, about it, right? <laughs> but um, man, it's like, what helps other people be themselves, you know? You know, it's amazing what, how many people you could be fooling based on what you could do, you know, based on what you're doing, you know, there's so many, I'm gonna go on to a certain topic where it's like, there's so many shit on Instagram that is like, distracting, you know, from the male perspective, from the female perspective, you know, when you see an art, when you see it in, when you know that someone's focused on their shit on, on, on Instagram based on the creativity, you know, when you know that it's not just about advertising stuff, you know, when you're there to show that you're there to show your art to the world, when you're there to, and you talk about it separately from Instagram, it's way different. You know, it's definitely way different, man. It's like if you feel like you're yourself, and this is about the only time you're able to be like uh, enthusiastic about shit. It's like better believe it, man. You know, better believe it. You know, um, I don't want to be talking up the whole night tampoco. You know, I don't want to like oversay shit. You know, I don't want to just like talk about random shit. You know. But you could always, like like I said, you know, you could always stop and listen. Or not stop and listen. You could, like, listen and then stop. And then switch to another video. You know, it's always optional. But if you're, like... I'm imagining a, a person out there. If you got coraje. And it's like... Why? Why are you always talking like that, right? Why, man? Stop your shit, right? I'm imagining, I'm picturing, picturing a hater. He's like, that shit's stupid. And he's like, whatever, you know, man. It's like, whatever, man. Um, I want to talk about. Can I talk about that? You know, can I talk about in the video game world, man? There's a lot of bullies in the game, in the video game world. You know, 
that might be influential about the shit that you might go through in life. You know, people play with a lot of seriousness. I'm a serious player when it comes to video game. You know, I take that shit really personal sometimes. Not too personal where I'm like fucking knowing where they where they live at and wh- what they do for a living and shit like that, right? But um, like I said, man, it's like I look for those bullies on that on that internet. You know, they want to be uh tea bagging people. <laughs> I'll be like, uh uh uh, you tea bagging the wrong person. You know, it's like watch your shit when I'm when you're playing against me, and it's fun, you know. And I gotta be realistic, you know, you do get people who are say, oh man, you're a good player, you play dope, you know, you're just like uniquely weird, you know, you're like, you're good at video gaming and you're good at painting, sort of, right? Um, I post my art for my profile picture for the gaming section, you know, it's like, I call myself the delusionist, I feel like I'm some sort of cartoon, that yet it's being to be born, you know, I have this image of the of the polyashi clown that was for for halloween and i feel like man i should keep painting painting myself like that for for a futuristic podcast i feel like i am gonna end up eventually do it you know i am gonna do it but i don't want to make it seem like i'm trying to creep out the people who i live with you know or the, the whole i don't want to s- sound like a weirdo but that's uh, something that i, I want to do yeah i, I really want to do that you know i want to be like a modernized polyashi you know, I don't know, might not know much about it, you know, Alzheimer's is a bitch, you know, I could always try to remind myself why I'm doing it, I'm doing it for myself, for my happiness, you know, I'm doing it for, for my, my own movement, I guess, I don't know what movement, man, it's like, do I have to be this person, you know, it's like, you know, sometimes it's like the movie The Mask. You know, you, you want to, like, be somebody when you're, like, when, when you're a mask. You know, when it's like, oh, shit, you're sort of, like, uh, some people might find the word fantasizing and shit, you know. This illusion of, of thinking. But if it brings, like, creative things into my life, if, if, it, if that brings love into my life, if that brings, like, um ideas and it helps people to be themselves you know i would just rather go for it you know and say fuck it i'm gonna paint myself soon uh i'm gonna paint on my face with acrylic paint as a sad clown and let that or just have different versions of saying oh that was a dope face man it's like or just depends you know but um overall man that's what i want to do is like if, you know, if I'm just saying it and not happening, what's the whole point of talking about it? You know, what's the whole point of bringing it up? You know, it was like, no, no, oh shit, I'm falling off my chair. What up? <laughs> you know, I, I want to be able to like paint my face and, and you no know, man, it's like you're 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 like a superhero. You know, you're like a super superwoman you know you're like a super you're this person with that good good ab, good with you're that person with good abilities you know you, you have these you have all this talent holy shit you, you have this good talent of um that you could like help people you know you could like you know, you, you know, maybe nurses aren't the only ones that are helping people, um, you know, um, saludable, you know, are, are for the health. But there's millions and millions of people who are suffering from me- mental illnesses and shit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm including myself in that, you know. But there's people out there who are suffering for that shit, you know. It's like... You know, people want to move forward, you know, but um, they're stuck with, like, the, the, the past and shit, and it's hard, man. It's, it's hard to uh, find the key and the answer, you know. It's hard to, to look for that answer, you know. It is hard to look for that answer, big, big time. And I don't want to be jumping onto, like, a serious fucking tone, you know. But, um, you know, man, it's like, if what I want to do is, like, to help people mentally, 
you know, make them feel dope, make them feel comfortable, make them feel like, you know, you're at your top notch. You know, I'm meaning like every type of soul, Muhammad Ali in you, or the dopest free, the Kalo soul that you got, you know. And, and saying, man, it's like, what else do you need? You know, it's like, what else? What else? Uh. You know, it's like, what else do you need, man? You know, it's like, don't you want to feel like you're the free the Kalo of your life, man? The, the strongest woman of your life, you know, at one point. Um, if, if you're a dude and you like that type of motivation, dope. It's like, go for it, you know. It's like, if you're a woman and you want, like, some motivational... I'm not going to come up with no motivational quotes, you know, but... Um, women are really powerful, you know. They could really change the world easily. They could always change the world they live in really easily, too, you know. Um, obviously, the way you dress always says a lot about you, you know. Um... But the looks, it's not always, and that might be another topic for another day, you know, because I'm just hopping onto that shit. But, you know, everybody's like a superhero, man. It's like if your superpowers to cure mental illnesses of like mental uh, people who are always in their minds and, 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 and your ability is to help them breathe themselves and say, man, it's not that bad, man. It's like you're, you're just putting so much uh, thought and effort. You know, your brain is kind of like, looping itself within its own membrane and shit or whatever if, if that's even a fucking you know scientific work type of um um oh man i'm 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 like visualizing the baby i'm in my wall right now and, and that's crazy you know that's it's crazy to the point um the silhouette of the things that i got on my desk is showing a baby dude that's fucking weird you know I, i'm not kidding there's a baby on in my wall the silhouette of a baby. Like if it's resting on, on a bed with, with nothing attached to, right? It's resting. You know? It's weird. It's weird that it's like scraping me out, you know. But, um, you know, uh, what if my ability was to cure mental illnesses through my art, through uh, podcasts and recordings and reading or trying my, keeping, teaching myself how to be busy? And you find yourself saying, oh, shit, man, it's like all you got to do is keep yourself busy. Slack off the Internet. Slack off the shit that builds that shit, you know. If your reputation's all bad, it's like, and your whole goal is to have that bad reputation throughout your life. Bro, it's like, man, carnal, you know, it's like, yeah, move on, bro. <laughs> but um, it's not easy. You know, it's not easy as it sounds like, you know. But um, sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm like the superhero from like mental 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 illnesses. You know, I don't even know how to pronounce that word right. But let me go ahead and put up my Porter's head banner. You know, and what if there's like a guy who cures men mental illnesses like that? You know, they talk about their day and they're just occupying their their. Someone uses my my I don't know. You know, my, my recordings and saying, yo, I feel a bit better. You know, it's like, um, I thought wrong about you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I thought weird about you. You know, it's like, you look like a straight out weird dude. And it's like, you're not that weird. You know, you're really as the opposite as that. And yet still weird, you know, with all these recordings and, and the black Yoshi on your wall. It's like, what else about you, man? It's like, and then that question should be, well, what else about myself sometimes? You know, it's like. What else you like about this world, you know? What it, What is it that keeps you uh, living in, in this world, man? You know, overall, man, if if, if you if you're able to um, if if you're if life is like giving you all these bad people in your life, you know, you're meeting, I'm meeting like weird ass people when they have weird ass troubles in their past, and it's like fuck, man, it's maybe I'm here to be put here to be like curing you, sort of as in. Sort of as in, like, you know what, um, sort of as in, you know, they, they, you know, I don't know how to put it, you know, you, you were here for, to conversate with me and to talk about your life and stuff, right, you know, they had to send you someone so positively good and, and who's seeing things differently than you and say, oh, shit, man, it's like, maybe 
you're i'm not trying to convert no one into no type of religion type of thinker shit right but um just helping you like revalue the shit that you love man it's like well you might not have much but you do have yourself and your health you know but um or if you're looking for like a passion man maybe your passion is meeting people you know but not yet like uh using them for the wrong reasons man you know you know it's like weird you know it's weird man it's like weird you know thoughts could go really weirdly you know you have to learn how to socialize if, if you want to be like talking to people and you no know, you, you got to practice you know it's like you got to practice to um like i really want everybody to be on a, in a good and a good fucking lifestyle right but i just cannot like think about it you know and not talk to myself about it and say that's what i want for people you know and it's not easy you know it's like if you're just thinking about it oh what what other thing how 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 are you doing it you know that's the one that's one of good questions like how are you doing this right how how you are how are you keeping people thinking from their troubles you know how are you able to um completely dem you know demolish this bad memory that they got right what is it that keeps in you what makes you feel positive about making it go away well it won't go away for sure and that's knowing you know it's always going to be there but there's ways and there's other things where you could possibly practice on working on it you know mm. and giving like a fast answer is like so what somewhat really easy to be describing you know but um you know um it's not easy to let go of shit you know it's you know it's not easy to go through a breakup you know it's like it takes time of course you know um and you know but you know when you you know it's not, it's not a, like personal about myself right it's like if you're if i feel like I'm, i was put here to help mental illness and shit like that maybe i'm just to uh heal heal up fucking modern type of illness you know modern modern up type of illnesses you know it's like i yes there's like things where it's like i could be feeding people you know i could be doing all this stuff but what if i'm just like doing my everyday thing which is like doing art working and, and talking about it maybe someday i'm just helping out a, a different section of a youth that are having a bad time right or whatever you know i don't know i don't know how to there's always a different way of you know it's, it's i don't know i don't fucking know i don't know what the fuck i was saying let me snap out of this shit you know you know it's like i don't know what else to add let me add some more fucking hand sanitizer and wash my face you know But overall, man, it's like, I feel like me as an Omer, bro, it's like, I feel like I want to help you forget shit, you know, big time, you know, you know, I might be, you might, I might be caught in the wrong day, but, um, I want to be like, you know what, man, let's work this shit together. You know, it's like, you want to get out of poverty? I have a good idea how to get out of, out of from it. You know, I have that motivation, you know, I have that. I got I believe in myself so much it ain't that bad but you know it's like when you're a starter that way you know it's like show me that you're a starter too you know it's like they show each other that it's like man I don't want to be poor the rest of my life you know and there's nothing wrong of not of being you know pero quien sabe man it's like it's like how, how you're left off from the conversation or the recording at any point when, when you get off this recording you could be thinking something already, you know. It could build up on something, you know. And, and I swear, man, it's like there's there's people here, there, everywhere, uh, any, any type of language, man. If I could, I I'll, I'll speak a third language. It's never too late to speak a third language, you know. I'm trying to open up the views out there. 
if you're an open minder, if you're like open season, como lo dice Carlos Trexo. <laughs> no creo que lo dice el viejo que viaja en el tiempo, pero. If you're free mind, como dice Carlos Trexo. Or open season, como dice el viejo que el, el hombre que viaja en el tiempo. <laughs> oh man, it's like. Yo, 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 be on good tracks, man, but. You know, be free minded, but with a with responsibility, you know, for your health and shit. You know, what, what else? You know, you, you're just going to meet people who are going to have the same views as you one day. And they're going to be really comfortable, confident around you. You know, and you know what your 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 place, you know, you know what to do as in, you know, being yourself or be boring, you know, but that's where I want to like face paint myself as a clown as polyasi as a modern version of it you know of having like technology it's like well this is my way of believing in myself if i have to be like this underground clown in my own time and, and talk about it during a podcast and record myself that way i don't want to trip out people but because i talk about it before i do it And I said that I am going to do it. It's more different than just eventually popping out of the fucking cave and say, where'd this come from? You know, it's like sort of writing the goal, right? Of what you're going to do. And eventually acting upon it, you know, and, and change it, you know, and go for it. You know, if you have some good thoughts, you know, it's like, I don't want to bring up anybody's Instagram username, but they one username sent me like a spider crawling off, crawling out and giving me a jump scare. I respect that you want my attention that way, but it ain't that ain't no way to get my attention. You know, it's like, you know, there's a, I'm not scared, but I already have experiences of looking at videos and, and it's really disturbing when they send you a video of the basketball person tossing that, you know, it's like, You know, it used to be the face of exorcist. And now it's like someone tossing a, a football or a, what is it, like a golf ball or a basketball towards like the the camera and giving us a jump scare. And it's like, I'm really against it, man. It's like, what kind of attention you're looking for, man? It's like, what kind of, what is it that you want to do for people? You want them to be what? Out of it. Realistically and smartly, it's like. You could have done it in, a, in another way, you know. Um, so I kind of thumbs down that fucking comment. You know, it's like, you know what, bro? Boof, that, that's straight up me talking to to that post that they sent me. Um, and it's like real. It's like it's like if I'm gonna say I'm gonna drink one beer, that's it, and give me some water. You know, if I'm gonna say, oh, I really, you know, but that's who I am, bro. Who cares, man? It's like if their goal is for for you to see your reaction or scare you in your own time, man. It's like that's that's the reason why I don't want to be on, on on social media. If they're gonna be like that and always gonna be on the phone and send you stupid shit like that, and just telling me how smart you can be sometimes, right? You know, you could be like dumb with your with my oh like I'll, I'll put in my and I'll put myself in that position. You know, I'll put. You know, the homies are the homies, you know. We'll say, send some dumb shit, you know. It's like some funny shit here and there. But overall, we're like, ah, cool. You know, we're cool, you know. But, um, you know, we since it's hard to just, like, fucking vibe on based on text messages and shit like that. Yo, it's like, uh, it's like, you know, I don't want to be, like, uh, second thinking about videos that they, or memes that they send, man. It has to be something dope, you know. Why am I giving me, why are you letting me give you my attention like that? Is it for that reason, to get a jump scare? I didn't get scared, because obviously I meet that shit before I look at it. And, you know, I'm not that dumb when it, when it comes to, like, jump scares. Um, but if, like, if, if they, if, if, if you see the reason why, you know, it's like you're attracting people who are wanting you to get scared that way, it's like, well, give me a good reason why. I will strongly not talk to you that way, bro. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like, don't send me that shit, bro. It's like, what else, man? It's like, but you're also, I'm also giving them like an idea of what 
to send me if they want to do you know but i think the most realistic person will understand you know the, the, the person who is like well whatever you know whatever you know i gotta call this shit off but uh But you know, it's like who knows, man. The the world is big. The universe is big. Obviously, you know. I'm here just recording, session, sessioning, uh, recording. If someone wants to be invited over. Um, I have to see who it is. You know. I I'm not just gonna let no one in. Walk in here and just let them do their shit. You know. Nah, it's like. I don't want to be like. There's rules, but there's like rules. You know. There's like. You know, it's like there's rules, man. <laughs> like, there's not like I might look like I'm a this madroso on Instagram, you know, but or my or Arte Locura might sound like pure this madroso, right? But it's like fuck no, we're like super organized, crazy motherfucker sort of, you know. We're we know what we're here for, you know. We're here to do art and create some dope shit and motivating people and. And believing in, in, in ourselves, man, it's like everybody has a different motto, a different way of living. You know, some people live by by the uh, you know the, the YOLO or any other shit, right? And I don't know, man. Some people live by different cool things. You know, who knows? But if one day you want to be like, Yo, Omer, I want to I want to go over, I want to record. What's it like to be like that? You know. It's hard for me to be placing myself that way, where it's like, okay, I'm being interviewed, you know. <laughs> it's hard to to say, oh, you're you're over there, why, you know, you know, and it's like, but um, you know, overall, man, it's like we're not here to to be drugged out, you know, we're not here to be, you know, there's a different thing man on uh, that i'm on right now is like fucking soberness is qu crazy good man it's weird you know it, you know a beer is all right but two beers okay you know like, whatever nah. <laughs> you know it's like of course uh the past experiences with beers that you got with people is like you know it's like i'm not trying to be no hypocrite neither but it's like you learn from the the amount of beer that you've been drinking you know um, I have no choice, man. It's, I don't want to be like super drunk, man. I don't want to always be like, like I'm a druggie and stuff like that, or I'm a, I'm a drunk person, or I'm a pothead, you know. Certainly, you look like one, you know. I'm, I'm gonna tell myself for sure, I look like one. Do I act like one? Maybe not. Um, do I paint like one? I could possibly, yeah. Fuck yeah, I could. I could, you know um do i sound like one maybe i i perhaps do when i don't want to you know when i'm just communicating perhaps yeah uh but if am i one nah i don't think so you know it was it's funny how in middle school i was strongly against weed and shit <laughs> you know until i tried it it was all right cool it was all right you know it wasn't like the best thing of my life i think the best thing is like just painting i guess not while high, you know. I didn't really finish while I was painting while I was high. Um, I think the best thing is there um that I'm passionate about painting, you know, that I'm fucking like or creating or or that I'm pushing ways of like finding myself creatively again, you know. Like what else can I do? You know, it's like if if I'm able to teach myself how to do digital art, how can I teach others other people to do that, you know? If it, if I make it look like if it's impossible to get to, it's like nah, bro. It's like it, that's just easy to do, you know. It might be easy for me to say, you know. But um, like I'm like like I was saying, I was trying to get to like a couple of minutes earlier, you know. If you could like paint something, you know, or draw or illustrate something, you know, and or you just basically want to create something, you know, you want to look professional. You know, you could like paint something and you say, oh, okay. that was just like a rough sketch, you know, and you you do it again. But this time you add. Um, like I said, like if you had more 
practice to it, if you practice today, yesterday, it's going to be like, it wasn't so easy. It was fucking very easy. I don't know what I'm saying, but <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But if it's like, man, it's like you got it. It's like when when you got it, tomorrow is going to be easier to get that habit going. It'll be easier to do it. And, you know, if you're trying to look professional, you know, it's hard to, uh, you know, I got to stop saying that. It's, it's como like saying a slang, you know, it's like a slang that you're so attached to saying, you know. It's so easy to to say that, you know, it's so easy to say it's not hard. It's not difficult. It's easy. You know, it's, it's like we're living in a modernized world. You know, all these things are catchy, you know. You know, we strongly try not to say the N-word here. We're not trying to say as much bad words as we can, right? But um, it's so easy to and say, oh, or other words, you know, like funny words, slangs and stuff, man. It's like the, the greatest example to set things, you know, to, to, um, to say is like, but, you know, like B-U-T. But this, you know what I'm saying? It's like. It's so you're so naturally, um, I don't want to say program. You know, you're you're so naturally, uh, in saying that. You know, what I'm saying you're so natural to to um recognize that. You know, you're so natural to just say it. You know, but you know, what I'm saying it's like it, it's so easy to say it. You know, it's so easy. No cuesta nada to say it. And no cuesta nada to say that. I'm not saying say something and then get a reaction, right? I'm saying, you no, know, realize it for yourself that one day that phrase, you're going to say it, you know, and and it, and it sucks because you know for a fact you're not trying to say that word, the word but, you know. And the word but is like you're so asleep in your state that you're going to naturally say that word. And it's amazing when one day you 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 hold yourself to say that word and to say, "Oh, you could definitely learn from that." And then say, "Oh man, that bad habit of saying that word is like so uh, toxic." I would say toxic because it's like it's so easy to say that word, and you're gonna find yourself wanting to be smarter. And what's the next step to? What's the other words that you want to leave out? You know. Um, leave out the bad words, man. You know, leave out the the words, and then from words, one day it's gonna be um patterns of knowing where or what when you hear things get to you. You know, or sentences, or you know, man, you start being creative. You know, you start using vocabulary for like a fucking spectrum of shit. You know, it's like um sometimes you just have to say it, you know, but um. You know, it, it's like, it's like we're kind of outsmarting each other. You know, it's like, that's the whole point of this uh, recording sometimes. It's like, we're, you're trying to like, we're trying to outsmart each other, but not feel. You see, that's, that's you know, but not feel this. But um, there's different kinds of buts when it was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it's not like hypocrisy. You know, I'm just trying to like teach myself not to say it. Um. We're just trying to uh, smart each other without having, um, it's, it's just finding the smart group. You know, it's finding, narrow, narrowing down the people who are going to uh, listen and say, I want, I want better for my life. You know, I want to be better, you know. And no, no lie, man. It's like when you're in a motivational group without wanting to be there and you make fun of the teacher, <laughs> you know, when you make fun of the teacher. Um, you're so, so, somewhat making the same thing, you know. It's like, oh, is that the reason why I'm doing all this shit? You know, it's like, is that, is this the reason why I'm always, um, uh, seeing myself as a sort of somewhat messenger? You know, you want to help people and keep them busy and stuff like that, or you know, help help them to get back on track. <laughs> Who knows, man? It's like inside, you know. At this point, I don't know. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited. You know, 
you know, naturally. Naturally, you know, naturally, naturalmente. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to call it it. I think that's about it. You know, I think I, I feel like I'm done recording, you know, I, I'm already finished. I'm completely done. Unless I get some water. Nah, I'm done. I'm done already, you know. Tell yourself that you're done and you're done. What's next? Um, for me, it's going to be done, save it, name it, save it to the drive, the process of uploading it, and it's that's it, you know. I'll see you however it sounds like. Um, I don't have my own time to start listening to what I got to say, you know. And... You know, it's like an abstract of uh, of words sometimes. Uh, pick and choose what you like to hear, you know. It could be for the good or for the bad. Or for the motivational that you need. The lack of motivation that you're looking for, you know. Um, if you're like me, if you're an artist, keep painting. Keep being creative. If you're, if you're a motivational listener, keep listening. You know, uh, not this too or some other things. If you're looking for... Uh, maybe you're just looking for advice from someone who's doing art. You know, maybe you want like a uh, feedback on something. You know, maybe you want someone to um, um, I don't know. Maybe you you, you want some feedback. You know, como como dije. Tal vez you're looking for for I don't know, man. Quién sabe? You know, who knows? But I gotta call it off. You know, it's like what time is it? It's uh, 10.55, you know, and it's still a long line, long night, you know. Um, Happy New Year, just in case this one gets uploaded within an hour. If it's uploaded on January, you know, Happy New Year still. Um, If you're wanting to move forward, you will. Tell yourself that you will, you know, tell yourself again that you will. And it might start with a small whisper in your brain, you know. But it might sound like a, a real whisper with your voice, right? And then eventually you're gonna work it out, work it up to the way where uh, you're pronouncing it. I will, you know, you you will do it. You're most likely will move forward, and you know, and tell yourself that you will. You know, you will do some good shit. You will like stop doing the bad things one day. You know, you will value the shit that you got. You know, you you will do all this good shit. You know. And you'll be all good. You'll be all dope. You know, you will make that purchase of a gallon de agua, no? <laughs> um, ain't no joke. I might be laughing, pero... Es verdad, man. When you buy one gallon de agua, it's hard not to fucking finish it. Does that make sense? I'm asking myself, does that, does that make sense? You know, you just like... We buy beer and we finish every single beer sometimes, right? The majority of the times we do finish it. But when we buy that galón de agua and you're looking for a better lifestyle, and and, and it's easy for me to say because I already found my passion. You know, I found my, my hobby. of, um, And I, I found something that helps me remind myself that I'm not alone, you know. I'm super alone. <laughs> No, I'm just like <laughs> that. I was gonna help a lot, you know. It's like I'm fucking thirsty right now, man. It's like if you're drinking two bottles of water a day, that ain't gonna help. You know, naturally the body needs like a long day out every fucking day. The brain's only made like of ninety percent water, according to some scientific research. I believe that, you know. It's like imagine all the blood cells moving down to your feet if you're standing up and shit. You know, imagine. You know, I, I was thinking some funny shit at work. <laughs> well, what are some of the... You know, if you're wanting to laugh or add some shit, you know? I was thinking a shit at work. Let me take your mind off that fucking motivational shit. If, um... What are the, some of the worst situations you could be wearing a mask? Basically, when you're at work taking a shit, you know? And if you're that person who wears a mask taking a shit, you're doing the wrong thing, buddy. You're going to be smelling your whole shit. It's like, what's the worst times where you could be farting? 
You know, if you're like that much of a pig and you want to be cracking up shit like that, right? Perhaps when you're underneath the covers, you know, I'm not going to be like, I was young, stupid and stuff like that, right? But some people need like a good laughter, you know? Um, Take off the mask when you're taking the shit, bruh. I mean, it might sound like a, if you see yourself like a comedian, these might be some of your skits, some of your sketches, you know? Definitely when you're taking the shit out of a public restroom in your own restroom. No one wears a mask in their house, right? But uh, when you're in a public restroom, don't wear that shit. (laughs) (coughs) Oh, excuse me. (coughs) And yeah. Thrive on, man. Thrive on, you know. What else? What else, bro? You know, what else, Carnala? You know? It might feel like a competition or who's going to be appreciating their life the most. <clears throat> but um, overall, it's not. You know, it's like... It, it, has, it has this weird... Yeah, we're just like on this... On this weird state of ecstasy shit. You know, it's like... We're just... We're just like... Experiencing life as in we appreciate the family the new partners the new friends the new shit that we're on i mean not counting out the drugs right <laughs> that is funny on uh, you know and you're gonna be in a good state of ecstasy where you don't feel like you're not even cop- competing against anybody in- anymore you know you're just doing your own part you know and that's how the cookie crumbles, you know. That's how we should be going, you know. Um, but if you're like really competitive, you know, man. State wise, mind state wise, you know, you're up there, you know, you're up there. But I'm on way above you. But you know, competition. It's sort of like a visual challenge. If you're listening, but whatever, you know. It's like whatever, you know. I'm gonna have to fucking open with this shit for a while. It's gonna take a while. But, um, you know, take care of yourself for sure, man. No one else is gonna take care of you but you. No one's gonna tell you to, uh, you've been drinking too much galon de agua. Start drinking some beer, you know? They are gonna see something wrong with you when you're gonna be drinking, like, a galon de agua every day. And if you're drinking, like, five galones agua a week and you finally decide maybe i'll just drink one beer today and they say yo you're drinking too much beer they fucking tripping you know what i'm saying it's like i've been drinking five five galones a week of agua all this all this week and the only thing they could bring up is is me drinking a fucking beer a kawama i mean well a kawama is kind of like a lot right for one percent i am like okay cool you know, thanks for letting me know. Not complaining. But uh, you see me drinking a uh, five galones de agua every week. And it's like, what if they were like different? You know, we're like, dang, bro, you've been killing five galones de agua a day, a week. Not not a day, a week, and then two weeks, and then three weeks. That's just fucking hard. You know, it's, it is hard to just fucking hop on water. Tell yourself that, man. It's hard to just be like naturally walking into the store with a galon de agua. It's hard. It's even harder to walk home with one holding one, you know, because I walk at work, I walk it from work to to house, and I'm carrying this galon de agua. So my hand is like Quagmire's hand, without the sex references. <laughs> so it's like trying to balance out the fucking muscle, but <laughs> but, but um, yeah, man, and that shows you and um, what mind state are other people are in. You know, where it's like. Either you see the whole agua, or they see that one beer. You know, it's either what how they see you now. You know, it's like you've been drinking too much water, and it's like, yo, here's a soda. Drink a soda, bitch. You know, not not really, but it's like, yo, um, you've been drinking too much water. What if I give you a gallon de agua? You know, um, no one's gonna pick up the habit of uh, drinking water tampoco. Um. It's difficult, but I mentioned a few things where it's like, how do you get yourself started drinking water? 
when you're really addicted to soda i mean it, i gotta say it's da it's not dumb but it's like it's bomb and refreshing uh start with the agua de, de limon you know add some it's, it is hard to just make one man it's, it's like the the real you man the real child in you is gonna be oh that's just bomb uh aguas are easy to make agua de la llave the fruit of your choice well limon obviously the easier one and azúcar mix it until it's the right amount of sugar not oh don't over it well to start off fresh do it the way you want to do it and say oh shit that food tastes good with um agua de limon you know it reminds me of this and that and you'll be like well maybe that's how you start you know it reminds you of uh, experiences of your life and say is it worth it maybe that's like the introduction of drinking water you know maybe that's like that the baby step of saying i'll buy one gallon you know for a fact you are going to be pissing a lot some people might hate pissing a lot it's all right to like piss like that but you know and, and say man it's like go for a gallon one day chug that shit and tell your put it where you're going to see it if it's in the message table there's something wrong you know it's like clear that shit and when you're thinking about crap man and when you're on your phone drink that shit chug that shit man um when you're just finding yourself that you're hungry chug that water bro when you're um half an hour away from sleeping or when you're like thirsty at night drink that water cabron you know cabrona if you're like thirsty for for thirst for for water drink pound that shit man um it's a big galon de agua you'll get some muscle for sure you know if you're um if you're si tienes hambre carnala one day and you're trying to lose weight drink some water man and you're gonna know how much dehydrated the body is you're gonna know all this shit about yourself i mean water is not gonna do bad you know no te va a caer mal agua you know um like i said like right now i'm missing my galon de agua i know i'm for a fact dehydrated i haven't drank any water today um you need water you know um let go of the sugar i mean reward yourself not within like a week of like uh, working hard of drinking water i would say like maybe two two or three weeks reward yourself the whole goal is try, try to drop the, the the sugar you know it ain't easy but um it's always easier to practice i think i, I don't know if that makes sense you know but um uh you know man it's like i gotta make like a fucking sexual podcast for your for those freaks out there who have a dirty ass fucking mind you know but um nah not even that's just who knows but all random thought but uh, but um water is pretty good for you <laughs> you know water is good for you um uh, it's always nice to have water you know i gotta drink some water right now um like i said man when you're thirsty when you wait it's like when you're when you're thirsty you'll pound that water for sure like i said when you're hungry at night pound that water confuse i don't want to sound like i know what i'm talking about sometimes you know <laughs> but i'll confuse your brain when it's hungry drink some water um for a fact uh people who drink beer they'll take a lot of pisses So if, if there's like some closed minded people out there and they're wondering why are you taking so many leaks? Um, maybe because you're drinking so much water, you know, <laughs> but it's not like finding an excuse to say it. Now it's like, oh, man, that's, that water really got me going, really got my body cleaned out. You know, you know, it's better now than, than never to do it, I guess. But I can say, you know, on again, uh, it's, it's like I want the people who are following Arte Nakura to have a better lifestyle, you know if i'm doing that for myself and if it's helping me maybe i should just like share it maybe the people who are following arte locura would want that for their lives too but who knows man it's, like i said i can't always boost you up that way you know i can't really um be the one who to feed you the water you know you have to be like the one who says fuck it today i'm gonna buy that water and go for it you know but it's like man it's like if you have to look over your your audience sort of you're, you're you're eventually will get to that point you know you know but um 
like I said, man, I have to call this thing off and and see what's next, man. New Year's approaching, and I don't always want to be sitting down in my ass, you know, re- recording. It is interesting, but oh, I I have to muchas cosas, you know, more important than just being on the on the zoned out space, you know, and you know, live it, you know, be it, you know, talk about it, be it change change yourself uh, if you're lost and you're nodding like yeah i'm lost bro yes i'm lost carnala yeah or brother you know um work you know work you know it's like i can't work on it man so like if you feel like you're lost Go for it, man. It's like, what is it? You know, let it out. You know, don't be like going crazy and shit. It's like, talk about it, man. It's just a phase. You're going through a rough time. That's it. A rough, a, a rough, a rough phase and shit. You know, it's only going to be like a temporary thing, man. It's like, I'm 28, man. Bruce Lee didn't even live to be 28. You know, it's like, uh, let me do a little research because I think he was like 26, 27. How old was he, you know? Oh, shit, never mind. He was 32. So I have four years to go, you know? I said I have to outlive this fucking legend, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's like, do you want to be at your age and and say, fuck, I'm going to pass out at this age? Fuck no, man. It's like, look up to a famous person. Jackie Chan is really interesting, too, you know? This guy's like over shit, over like 52 movies years old, you know, it's like, this guy's fucking old, you know, but I I have to outlive 32 years for sure, you know, I gotta be 32 years, right, um, if you don't see yourself like, oh shit, I gotta be like, uh, who do you look up to, you know, what are some of those people that you look up to, you know, I'll, if you're American, I'll maybe just put like Chuck Norris as a martial artist, right? He's 80 years of age. I'm not sure if he's dead yet. I'm not trying to be funny, but it's like if you look up to Chuck Norris, it's like don't you want to outlive Chuck Norris? It's like don't you want to outlive some people that died really easily? You know, it's like yeah, fuck yeah. It's like well, what about you, man? It's like what about you, Carnala? It's like. Do you want to outlive this person? It's like, fuck yeah, man. It's like, don't you want to be like double your age and still be able to do what you're doing, but taking it easy and knowing the fact that you're here for a purpose? Fuck yeah. I would think so. It's like, who are these titties? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you guys, but But it's like, fuck yeah, man. It's like, I want to be, I want to outlive my legend's fucking age of years. I'm not talking smack about them, but. I want to be above 32. You know, I've got like four years to go. And maybe I'll look up to someone different soon. You know, who's who's older, right? Who's older and... and Jackie Chan's older for sure. You know, it's like... Jackie, how old are you? He's 66. So it's like, oh, if I'm really into Jackie Chan... 66 is the, the number to beat, you know? But yet again, find your focus and find your focus, man. And, and say, fuck it, let's outlive that. Let's outlive these motherfuckers, man. But in a, in a good way, in a healthy way. You know, you don't want to be like outliving these guys with the bad liver, you know? Fuck no, dog. You want to be like that? You be like that, right? We don't need that shit here. I mean, maybe one beer at a time, but. Not fucking every day. Not like, I don't know about having sex, but that's just that, that's a different conversation. That's another conversation where another topic for another day. But what I'm trying to get at is like, man, Bruce Lee died at age 32. I'm 28. I want to be 32. You know, I want to be 32 for sure. I don't want to like. Who knows, right? You could always put the if. 
you could die next year. You can always put those ifs in the way, right? And, and, and that's another way of saying, trying, that's another way of, uh, of a type of excuse, right? Only if they don't, if they're not approaching you in a certain way where you like it or whatever. But 32 is my goal to get, right? How am I going to get there? By keeping myself distracted doing art and doing what I believe in and not giving up, you know, and not being a robot at work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, there's going to, you're going to see yourself in the future, you know. You are going to see yourself in the future, in the past, you know. You're going to be 32, and you're going to see yourself in the past, man. You're going to see someone who like almost like you. But when you look at your hands one day, they're going to be older. And they're going to be like, fuck, they, they, they knew what they were talking about when they were young. You know, it's like, fuck, yeah, that's what I'm here for. You know, I'm going to be like, I mean, I'm, I might not look like I'm 28, but it's like, I'm look like I'm fucking 18 still. And it's like, fuck, no, I want to have some man hands one day and be like, oh, shit. My twin, my twenty eight, um, uh, my hands at twenty eight were definitely right. You know, I want to look down at my hands and be like, "Fuck, they like manly and shit," or like old as fuck, and say, "Yeah, let's keep going." You know, let's keep going, bro. You know, um, yeah, man, just, just, just be you. What else? Just be you. You know, I don't know what else to say, but um. I gotta go, you know, um, be safe, what else, bye.